What's going on, gamers? Today, let's go over the differences between two popular Pokemon-based mods, Pixelmon and Cobblemon. Fans of Pokemon may have wondered what it'd be like to enjoy their game in Minecraft, and they do have options. For a long time, Pixelmon dominated this area, but another one, Cobblemon, is up and coming, so how do you choose which one you want to use? Let's talk about it. Starting off with the most popular Pokemon mod in Minecraft, Pixelmon introduces a wide variety of features. These range from changing the world's generation to introducing custom items. For example, you might randomly stumble upon a large tower full of loot or village quests to enjoy. Besides this, obviously, Pokemon are available in this mod, meaning players can catch them and battle others. The developers are still updating this and implementing new features to the gameplay, such as extra structures or useful items. These updates do happen ever so often, so you might want to consider using the official mod pack for Pixelmon to get more content. Unfortunately, there are only two possible Minecraft versions to play with this and the standalone mod, which is 1.16.5 and 1.12.2 for Forge. As of right now, there is a beta version out for 1.20.1 and 1.20.2, but there isn't a full release yet. This does mean that you're pretty limited on mods that you can add to the game, and you can't really add any of the newer ones. That being said, another plus is that there aren't any dependencies for this, making it easy to set up. Once you're actively exploring and using Pixelmon, you're going to notice many other unique features. A few of these include vending machines, interactable characters, in-game currency, keybinds for specific actions, and custom blocks. But this can be frustrating for players only looking for a Pokemon experience in the world. For those players, you'll be happy to hear that Cobblemon gives you just that. This mod introduces you to a straightforward and simple system for catching them all. There's no major changes to the world generation, a wide selection of Pokeballs, and two machines for healing or for storage. This is considered a lightweight mod that's meant to not entirely change the game, but just add some Pokemon aspects. As for the version, this is for Forge and Fabric 1.19.2 and 1.20.1, so it is a lot more up to date but depending on your setup, there's going to be a few dependencies that you need to install before playing. Whether you're playing on Forge or Fabric, it is available, but only on these two versions, so you are pretty limited here too. Besides this, the actual gameplay itself is pretty easy to learn. There are a few keybinds to learn, and you can run around and start catching all of the Pokemon, and then try battling others with your powerful ones. There also isn't an official mod pack for this one, though some community members have made one, and it's quickly becoming a popular mod for some collections. If this video has helped you so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Really, this comes down to how much you want changed or added to the game. Pixelmon is going to add a lot more than Cobblemon does, which can be a huge deciding factor for a lot of people. Here's a more comprehensive list of the differences between the two so that you can see which one might suit your game best. Obviously, either of the mods are going to give you the Pokemon experience you're looking for, and after that, it's up to you to decide how much more you want added and which mod will work better for that. Cobblemon is great for those looking for the bare bones, while Pixelmon is great for those searching for a whole new game, so take your pick and start catching them all. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.